Welcome to Castlevania! I'm sorry it was such a scrub last time. Anyway, let's look around and see what we can find. Oh boy. Yeah, we're in the reverse um, Colosseum now. Minotaurs. Weren't they a boss enemy earlier in the game? Oh boy. I get the feeling we're gonna have a bad time in this place. Yeah, these guys can actually drop a really good sword. But they're definitely hard to take down. Ouch. As you can see, they can do a lot of damage to you. Yeah, they can drop a pretty good sword, though, that lets you um, do a soul steal attack on enemies. So if you can get it, it's worth getting. I'm probably not going to get it since the Heaven Sword is actually really good. I like the Heaven Sword. For numerous reasons. These enemies around here are pretty tough. We might be out of our league around here. I think we're doing okay. Oh boy. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, just stay out of range and then hit him before. Yeah, the damage to White Dragon, you have to hit it in the head. Not really liking the position he's in. But the White Dragon can also drop something really good. It's a Lapis Lazuli. It boosts your luck. I totally didn't look up the answers on YouTube or the internet or anything. Yeah, I actually did. Does that make me a scrub, guys? Some people might argue that makes me a scrub, but I... I guess if you want to call me a scrub, that makes me a scrub. Oh boy, we got a lot of tough enemies ahead. Don't face the wrong way. Sorry. Just stay out of range and don't trigger them. Oh boy. Yeah, these things are invulnerable. They're just like the stone skulls. Except slightly edgier. This is the place where we fight, or, we fight the fake three friends of Alucard back in Castlevania 3. 
I've never played Castlevania 3, but I know that. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a cool thing you can do with the Heaven Sword that I didn't show you. Zircon, that's pretty much worthless. A big bag of money! Whatever you do, don't touch these stone skulls. They hurt. We'll just cheat as the bats I get around. I really touched it there. Let's see, um... That's an interesting fountain. It's for the melon soda, guys. Yes, Dracula's Castle is well known for fountains of melon soda. The enemies of Calcium are pretty tough to deal with. Maybe if I had the walk armor with more defense, it might be a bit better for me. Dragon out of the way. Now where am I in? Gotta figure out where I am in relation to everything. Yeah, I'm gonna get juggled if I stay there. White dragon beaten. Save points right here. Might as well heal up. Now let's try to fight let's try to fight um the fake friends. Yes, um Fake Grant, fake Trevor, and fake um Sylvia. Yeah. I don't think this is the right area. Aquamarine. Ouch. See, that's why you don't touch the stone skulls. They damage you. And for quite a bit of damage. That's nothing that flex tape can't fix. You really like an Evan Sword combo. It's, it's no Chrissy Grim, but it's getting the job done. Now I think we go. Um, where do we go? That way? Yeah, these werewolves look a bit different than the ones that were the one that was the boss. Right. Oh boy. Get ready guys, this is a boss fight, and I'm gonna die on the first attempt. Here they come! Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, they're finding the sweet spot to combo me. And I'm finding the sweet spot to combo them. Yep, I beat them pretty easily. I'm kind of glad I got the Heaven Sword now. It's making the game pretty easy. Now where am I? In the towers? We don't want to be in a labyrinth with these minotaurs. They seem pretty beefy. No, I kind of want the knife. Um, let's head down actually. Now at least we know where to get Yeah, the Heaven Sword kind of makes it kind of easy. Now, let's keep going. Oh boy, imps. Now, imps, are, imps in this game can actually dodge your attacks. Which is something I'm not used to. Since in most Castlevania games, like, after this one, they can't do that. In this one, they're pretty di they're pretty agile. Sniper of Goth, which I... Which actually have different names in uh, other games. Man, these snipers are really getting on my nerves. I'm really liking the Heaven Sword. It's doing the job. Oh boy. Everybody knows what time it is. Gotta equip the Spike Breaker armor. Let's check out what's over here. As you know, one part of Castlevania is explore everything. Twilight Cloak? What does the Twilight Cloak do? Well, it does raise my constitution and my defense. Black Cape for Vampires. Yep, it's looking really good on Alucard. Oh boy, there was a frame drop. You saw that, right? Don't worry, it was only momentary. Walk armor, it gives you the- it's one of the best armors in the game, by the way. Basically, the more map you uncover, the more defense you're gonna get. Which means exploring every bit of the castle is really worth it. Let's go this way. Watch out for that. I'm not sure if I'm heading the right way. Yeah, the Black Panthers can also drop something that's really good. Of course, I'm not spending that time on stream doing that. Sneaky, sneaky Black Panthers, they'd love to do that. Nope, I want to keep the knife. The Bible sucks. In any Castlevania game, never go with the Bible. 
Not that it can't be useful, in Harmony of Dissonance it can be useful. Mainly because you combo it with other things to make it useful. It does do holy damage to enemies on contact. Which is pretty good when there's enemies that... Look at them pods. Yeah, don't touch the don't touch the things that come out of the balloon pods. They hurt you. But of course they do. Now I wonder what that painting is called. Or if it's just invented for this game. Some some games do use famous paintings. Yeah, whatever you do when you're attacked by the Black Panther, don't just stand there. Move in and hit, hit him. Gotta look, gotta fill in the map. Magic Missile! Now we can attack the darkness! Bakuga Knife. Yeah, the battle items are... Well, there is an item that can make the battle items actually more effective. But, um... You can't get it in the first playthrough. Basically, it lets you duplicate them and all their effects. It's called the Duplicator. Yep, they're doing so much damage. Tombstones don't stand a chance. Hey, drop some green tea! That's cool. I could use more healing items. Because I'm told that they can get pretty tough up ahead. Let's go this way. I want to check out as much of the castle as possible. Well, this is a teleport room. We got one up there. Hmm. How about we head down instead? Now I must warn you that in, in the reverse castle the clock tower can get pretty crazy. It's nobody's favorite place for a reason. Then again, when is the clock tower in Castlevania anybody's favorite place? But seriously, the version- the clock tower in this game is actually not that bad compared to other clock towers I've seen in Castlevania games. <clears throat> Certainly not Dawn of Sorrow, which was a nightmare to get through. If you ever play Dawn of Sorrow and get to the clock tower, you'll know what I mean. It's not- it's not a scrub-friendly place and you will die a bunch of times. Falling to our doom! Yorick, who is actually known as Sucker Boy in Japan. Um, I don't think there's any castle left to explore. Wait, I can see a spot up there. Alas, poor Yorick, I hardly knew ye. Yeah, that's not how it was said in the line. Let's go up here. Hey, there's a door. Let's go. Now be warned, it can get... Oh boy. Boss time! Darkwing Bat appeared! And I beat him easily! With zero damage! That's some MLG Pro Strat right there! Now we got the Ring of Vlad! 
We got the ring and heart of Vlad. That's two of the five items we need. Welcome to the reverse clock tower, guys. I promise we're gonna be in for some we're gonna be in for some fun in this place. If by fun I mean the opposite of fun. Oh well, let's take our time. And don't get salty if we die here. Secret! Moon Rod! Oh yeah, it's Sailor Moon's Rod! I'm serious, it actually is a Sailor Moon reference. And Castlevania. Yeah, don't touch the spikes. They can hurt you pretty badly. Just like these bomb armors can hurt you pretty badly. Oh, they look a bit different in other Castlevania games. Let's fill in as much map as possible. While keeping your eyes open for enemies. And let's not be under the giant death... Bomb Knight. Let's go a little bit lower. I want to see what's over here. Money? Heart? Yep, I'll use the heart. It means more knives. Mm. Oh boy. Oh well, we took him out in one shot. Oh boy, trigger warning guys, we got Medusa heads! Prepare to get triggered! Oh boy. Break out, break out, break out! I'm really not liking this place. Now where are we? Oh boy. I know if I know Medusa heads are everybody's favorite enemy from Castlevania. They're so beloved and classic. How can how can you not like them? Yes, everybody loves Medusa heads, guys. That's a proven fact. That's why they keep reappearing in every Castlevania game. Because they're so well-loved, you see. And not at all annoying at all. <laughs> Fill up the map. Let's see what's this way. Nothing up here. I'm sorry for making- I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry to all you guys who um, have Medusa head related stress. It's, it's um, it can be really tragic. And very triggering for a lot of people who play Castlevania games and die to them. But don't worry, I'm a sensitive guy and I'm very sensitive to your issues. Oh boy. 
We got Claw Hollow Knight. Ouch. Gotta fill in the map. We gotta make our walk armor super OP, guys. Hey, look! Strength potion, luminous, smirk potion. And I do believe the map is n not wanting to res not wanting to be filled in for some reason. What's here? Dragon helmet! That's one of the, that's the best helmet in the game, guys. Brightens enemies, lowers defense. Mm. But it does raise our strength. Seems like seems like the dragon helm's not too bad. It's actually one of the better helms in the game, guys. Which means coming to the clock tower was actually worth it. Then again, when is coming to a clock tower in a Castlevania game never worth it? Now, I know I was bragging on, on how um, unoriginal that the inverted castle was, but I think I changed my mind. It actually feels like a legitimate endgame challenge, guys. I mean that very seriously. It's actually much, much harder than the standard castle. So you're definitely in for a fun time ar around this place. Bible. No, we don't want the Bible. Oh boy, more stone skull action. <laughs> Yeah, rem these things cannot be destroyed by any means. Don't even try it, guys. And if anybody says they can be destroyed, they're lying. As there's nothing you can do to defeat them. They're invulnerable. Alright. You made it this far. Are you guys ready for some fun? I know I am. Yes, this is the teleport room. Very important for later on when we need to get around the castle. Oh boy, Jacko Bones. They love to throw you a bone. Yeah, we got spooky boys. Everybody loves skeletons, right? Skeletons are the sexy monster, right? <laughs> I mean, there's definitely no flaws in dating a skeleton, guys. All their problems are already gone because they're dead. Oh boy, welcome to the library, guys. Oh yeah, that's the enemy that can drop the Chrissygram. Very important, guys. Be careful of the lion, don't get too close to him, he can do the damage. Then again, so can the Tin Man.
If something seems a little odd, it's because they're Wizard of Oz themed enemies. Except for just Moo. He actually comes from a comic. And in Japan, he actually is themed something different. This place doesn't seem too bad. Oh boy! Oh boy, 10 man alerted. Now only the mid only the top part of the scarecrow can damage you, so don't worry about anything else. Might as well have a look around this place. It doesn't seem too bad so far. But yeah, this is the place where you can get the chrysogram. From those guys. The Smoo. I'm not making that up, trust me. And the Chrysogram is basically the best sword is so is OP'd best sword in the entire game, guys. And the smooths drop them. Now this seems like a good place to stop and grind. So I'm gonna grind off camera. And not let you see it. Because it's probably going to take over 9,000 attempts due to the desire sensors not wanting me to have stuff in this game. Which is also why I got the Heaven Sword off camera. Anyways, play games and have fun. And I hope this was fun for you. I know I was a little frustrated in the last playthrough I did. But I feel like I've gotten good. At least a little. Goodbye.